in the jewelry store. Topic one, a proposal ring. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the LA Jewelry Store. I'm Kevin, staff manager. What can I help you with? Hello. I want to buy a ring. Could you give me some suggestions? Yes, sir. Could you please tell me your name? My name is Peter. Okay, Mr. Peter. Do you want to buy a ring for yourself or for another person? Actually, I want to buy a ring to propose to my girlfriend. Oh, I see. Our store is currently including a variety of proposal rings for you. What is the material of the ring you want? My girlfriend is really keen on platinum. Yes, please follow me to the guest room for platinum jewelry over here. Sir, you can choose the most suitable one for your girlfriend. Here are five of the latest items in our store. Or you can choose the best seller ring here. Mmm, these are really beautiful. Could you take this one for me, please? I would like to see it closer. This one? Yes, please. Here you are. This ring was made of pure platinum with a 0.25 carat diamond on it. We guarantee that your ring will keep this color forever. By the way, would you like to engrave your name and your girlfriend's name on the inside of the ring? We have a service to do it for free. Yes, I'd love to. Okay, I'll take this one. Okay, I'll measure the finger size now. Have you brought this finger size of your girlfriend? Of course. Here, please. And your girlfriend's name is... She's Lana. Okay, we will engrave Peter and Lana, right? Perfect. All right, please sit here and wait for a few minutes. We have tea and coffee. What would you like to drink? One coffee, please. Here's your invoice. Please check the invoice carefully to ensure that the price on the bill is the same one shown on the counter. You can pay in cash or by card. I'll use my card. Okay, sir. Here is the diamond grading report to make sure that our diamond is authentic. And here's your warranty card. Your rings are done. Here you are. So beautiful. I love it. Thank you for purchasing in our LA store. We hope that you will have a lot of beautiful memories with our product. Have a good day, sir. Topic 2. A gift for your wife. Honey, do you like this necklace? Hmm, looks fantastic, baby. Excuse me, how much is this one? There's no price tag on this necklace. Sorry, sir and madam. This necklace belongs to our latest collection called Celestine, and we have just displayed it today. It costs $299. But if you buy at least three items from the collection, you will receive 10% off for all three of them. Oh, it sounds great. I want to try bracelets and earrings as well. Are they included in the collection? Yes, ma'am. Our collection has them all. Please, look at the screen right here. You can look at this model. She is wearing all of the items in the Celestine collection. So beautiful! 
What do you think, honey? They are really elegant. I'd love to see them all on you. Excuse me. Could my wife try all the items in this collection? Absolutely, sir. Please wait for a minute. I'll bring it out for you. Here you are. Does it look okay on me, honey? You're gorgeous, baby. Hmm. I decided to buy them all because it's your birthday. Choose a size for my wife, please. Thank you, sir. Because it's your wife's birthday, and you're the first to buy the whole collection in my store, we'll give you twenty percent off as a gift. Ah,、oh, nice. Thank you for that. Honey, I am so touched right now. Oh, I love you. I love you too, baby. Always. Excuse me. Hello. Welcome to Kylan Jewelry. What can I help you with? Yes, actually, I want to polish my necklace. I bought it here two months ago. Oh, please describe the condition of your item. Okay, so I realized my necklace started to tarnish a week ago. It happened more quickly than the old jewelry I bought here before, and also I have a pair of earrings that I received from my mom, but I carelessly broke one piece. It's really important to me. Please help me to fix it. Yes, I understand. Did you bring along the warranty card? I will do a checkup first. Of course, here it is. Thank you. Please wait here. I've checked with our jeweler, and he said that your earrings can be fixed, but it is a quite meticulous item, so it takes about two days to fix. Oh, great! I can wait. How much for this fix? About fifty dollars, and your necklace will be polished for free because of our policy. It takes fifteen minutes for our jeweler to shine it. Please wait over there. Do you want a drink, tea, or coffee? Oh, tea is good. Thank you. Your service is absolutely great. Thank you. Customer satisfaction is our happiness. Here's your invoice. Please keep it to take back your earrings later. You will make the payment when you receive them. Oh, thank you. Topic four: Order a made-to-order jewelry. Hello. How can I help you? Hi. I know your shop by recommendation from a friend. She told me you're really an expert in silver handcrafted jewelry. I want to order a handmade bracelet, a kid size for my niece. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Which design do you want to make, or do you have any ideas? Oh, I've got a photo for you. Here it is. It's the bracelet inspired by Percy Jackson's books and movies. My niece loves this series a lot. Let me have a look. Hmm, it is some sort of charm bracelet. The bracelet in this photo must belong to a fine jeweler. I can do it, but it needs a lot of time, and it's not cheap as well. <gasps> oh, really? I intended to give my niece this gift for her birthday, about two weeks from now. Will it be done in time? It's quite enough. I'll make sure to finish it before your niece's birthday. Do you want to keep the same gemstone and details as the original bracelet? Of course, as much detail as possible, please. 
Oh, and please engrave her name inside. Her name is Ruby. Okay, I'll try my best. What about the wrist size of your niece? She'll be five years old soon. Slim and tall. I think her size might be around five and a half inches to six inches. I'll make her bracelet extendable, so that she can adjust it accordingly when she grows older. Great idea. Okay, now about the price. It costs three hundred dollars, including silver, gemstones, and for my labor costs. Please settle fifty percent of the payment first, and fifty percent after you receive the final product. Okay, I'll pay in cash. Here's your hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you. I'll write you an order note. Here you are. My contact is on the other side of the note. If you have any amendments or requests, you can contact me. I've got it. Thank you. Buying an old car. Dad, look, look! I got my driver's license. I passed the exam. <gasps> oh, really? Let me see. Hey, this is great! Congratulations. Thanks, Dad. Now that I have a license, now can I have my own car? My school is pretty far away, right? You always have to wake up early and drive me to school. Now I want to be independent. I also saved up some money from my part-time jobs, though I still have to borrow some from you to be able to buy a car. Now that you have a license and you know how to drive, I think there is no problem with getting your own car. <gasps> really? Thanks, Dad. But buying a car is pretty expensive. Do you want to drive mine to school? But then you can't drive to work, right? Right. We can buy a used car, Dad. I think it wouldn't be too expensive. I heard an average used car only costs around two thousand dollars, which is half a price of a new cheap car. Besides, a used car does not mean it has bad quality. We can always check it when we go buying. Some are almost like new too. What do you think? That's a great idea. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? See, Dad, there's always a solution to everything. Speaking of used cars, I have a friend who works as a salesperson in a used car garage. We can go there. He can help us with choosing the best car. That's great, Dad. Which garage is that? I think the garage is called Max Car. Should we go there this Sunday? I think that would be great. Okay, so Sunday it is. Welcome to Max Car. <gasps> Isn't this Jackson? Long time no see. How are you? Long time no see, Tim. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good too. It's so good to see you again. And this must be your daughter, right? Hi, I'm Liz. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So we are here to buy my daughter a car. She just got her license, so I want her to be able to drive herself to school every day. We are looking for a car that is suitable for her. Oh, I see. I can help you with that. What is the price you are looking for? I can afford a car that is around two thousand or two thousand five hundred dollars. I see. Then let me introduce this one. This is Suzuki Car Model S two hundred. It is a four seater car. It's a common option for ladies. This one looks so pretty. 
You have taste, Liz. The color bronze makes it look elegant and stand out. Can you tell me a bit about this car's history? How long was it used? Oh, I got this one from a young household. They wanted to buy a seven-seated car, so they sold this one to us. I think it was used for around five years. The condition is pretty mint. Do you know if it was in any accidents before? From what the former owner shared, no. It has not been in any serious accidents before. But it did have a fender bender once. Nothing serious in my opinion, but it did leave a small scratch near the car's tail light. You can see it here. Oh, it does not look too bad. We can get it fixed, right? Of course, this one can be handled by any auto repair shop. Our garage can help you find ones at a cheap price. Thank you for that. I have another question. Was this car frequently used in the past? I think not every day. This person usually commuted by train to work, so his family only used this car for trips to the mall or far places. It was used like once or twice a week, which was around 100 miles a week. Have the former owner changed the timing belt and water pump for this car before? Yes, they did it once last year. Oh, I forgot to ask, how much is it? We sell it for $2,000. Hmm, not too bad. I like this one. Liz, what do you think? I like it too, Dad. Great, then we have decided to buy this car. Perfect. We recommend you bring it to an auto repair shop for checking and fixing before actually driving the car. You can visit the shop called Max Repair. All of our customers go to this shop for renovating their car. Thank you for the recommendation. Okay, now we will proceed with the paperwork inside. Please come with me. Okay, thank you, Tim. Welcome to Max Repair Auto Shop. Well, how can I help you? Hi, I just bought a used car, and I want to check and repaint it. Sure, what's the problem? There's a small scratch next to the car's left taillight. Can you see it? Mm. I want to get it to repaint and fix. Oh, I can see it, no problem. Oh, and also... Can you give my car an overall check and see if there is anything that needs to be changed? Sure, I can do that, but it will take a while. Can you come back after around... an hour? Yes, no problem! Great, can you leave your number so I can call you when everything is done? Yes, my number is 091-234-5678. Okay, thank you. Just leave it to me, don't worry. After an hour. Hi, I received your call and I came back to check my car. Was there any serious problems? No, not at all. I have fixed the scratch. I have also changed the two front tires as well. They looked a bit worn out. The car is also washed. Does it look like a shiny new car now? It really does. Thank you so much! You can have a short ride, then come back and tell me if everything goes smoothly. Okay. How was it? The ride was smooth. I think there is no problem at all. Then that's great. How much is it? Oh, the scratch costs around $45. The two tires cost $100. Your total is $145. You forgot to include the car wash. Oh, that one is on me. It is free. You don't have to worry about it. Thank you so much. Here are $145. Thank you. Come back anytime if you have any problems. Hotel Reservations Hey, we will have a whole week off next week, right? Let's go somewhere. Hey, that's a great idea. I want to travel too.
We should go somewhere far away and stay for a night there. Definitely. How many years since we last traveled together? I can't remember anymore. Anyways, do you have any ideas where we should go? As it's quite hot now, I am thinking about going to the beach. What do you think? That sounds nice. I like beaches too. Oh, I know a place. There is a beach that is an hour's drive from here called Sunnyside Beach. We can go there. <gasps> an hour drive? That's great! Then we can go by ourselves in my car. Let's go with that. Sunnyside Beach, right? Yeah. Should we go on Wednesday? Because it's the middle of the week, so there will be fewer people at the beach. I think so, too. We will go on Wednesday and go home on Thursday afternoon? Yeah. Now we have to look for a hotel. Let me search on my phone. Let me see, too. Here, this one. What do you think? Wildflower Hotel. It is around 500 meters away from the beach, so it's really convenient. There's no breakfast offered, though. How much is it a night? $15 per night for a twin room with a balcony. I see. It looks pretty cute, too. What about this one? This one? Sunny Hotel? Yeah. It's a bit further from the beach, almost a kilometer away. The price is $13 for a twin room. There is breakfast included, though. Oh, not a bad price at all. And it's not that far away. We can still walk from the hotel to the beach. I like this one. What do you think? Yeah, I think this one is nice, too. Should we go with this one? Yeah, sure. Let me call them. Hello, is this Sunny Hotel? Thank you for calling Sunny Hotel. Sam speaking. I would like to book a twin room for next week, please. Yes, can you specify which day you want to book the room? Next week's Wednesday night, please. Do you want to stay for only a night? Yes, that's right. Okay. So there are two twin rooms available next Wednesday night. Do you prefer a room with a window or with a balcony? The price is the same. We would like the room with the balcony, please. I understand. So a twin room with a balcony, right? For next Wednesday night, it will be $13 like on our website. There will be breakfast served for free as well. Do you have any requirements or extra service? No, we are all good. Perfect. Can I get your name and phone number? I'm Jane. My phone number is 053-356-1234. Thank you very much. Your booking is in our system now. Payment will be done when you check out and you don't have to deposit any money. I see. Thank you. Can I ask when we check in and get our room? You can check in any time. It's best to call us 30 minutes beforehand. I understand. Oh, do you have a car parking lot? Yes, we do. We provide a free parking lot for our customers. Great, thank you so much. Thank you for choosing to stay at Sunny Hotel. See you next Wednesday, Miss Jane. This is Jane. I'm here to get my room. Good morning, Miss Jane. A twin room with balcony, right? Yes, it is. Okay, here is your key. Did you have any trouble finding us? No, not at all. The hotel is really easy to find. Thank you.
Great, and here are the breakfast coupons. Please bring this with you tomorrow morning when you want to have breakfast at our restaurant. It's on the fifth floor. I see. Thank you. For room amenities, please use it freely. However, for the beverages in the fridge, we will charge them, and you will pay during checking out along with your room's fee. Laundry is charged as well. If you want your laundry done by us, please call the room service. If you need anything or have any problems, you can either call the room service or go to the reception desk. I understand. Sorry, when can I check out tomorrow? Please check out before 4 p.m. Okay, thank you very much. You are welcome. Enjoy your stay at Sunny Hotel. Hello, Miss Jane. Are you ready to check out? Yes, please. Great. Did you enjoy your stay? Was there any problems? No, not at all. Everything was super pleasant. The beds were comfortable and the balcony had a better view than we had expected. There was one minor problem, though. What was it again, Mary? Oh, right. When I was showering yesterday, the hot water was suddenly cut off for a few minutes. <gasps> but it came back right after that, so I decided not to call the room service. Not a big problem anyways. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Our hot water system sometimes has that kind of trouble. I'm glad that it did not cause any problems. How was the breakfast? It was lovely. We especially enjoyed the coffee. I'm glad to hear that. Do you want to make your payment now? Yes, please. It will be fifteen, thirteen plus two dollars as you used a can of beer from the fridge. We see. Here are our fifteen dollars. Thank you very much. Sunny Hotel hopes to welcome you again soon. On the plane. Situation 1. Buying a plane ticket. Hello, may I help you? Hi, I would like to book a flight. May I ask where you're flying from? I'll fly from here, Detroit. Where are you traveling to? I'm traveling to New York. What is your travel date? I'm making a reservation for September 20th. Which airport do you want to fly to? LaGuardia Airport or Newark Liberty International Airport? Uh, Newark Liberty International Airport. Would you prefer a morning, an afternoon, or an evening flight? I'd rather fly in the evening, around 6 or 7 p.m. Well, I have you booked on a flight that fits your requirement. Please check the information here. Hmm. Great, please book this flight for me. Could you fill in some information here? Sure. Here you are. Thanks. Do you have a checked suitcase? No, thanks. Okay, please pay the fare of $180. Do you want to pay by card or in cash? By card, please. Okay, let me book it now. All done. Please check your e-ticket with the email you provided. Thanks, I received it. Have a nice day. Bye. Have a nice day.
Situation two. Check in at the airport. Good evening. Where are you flying to today? New York. May I have your passport, please? Here you go. Are you checking any bags? No, I only have hand luggage and a laptop. Okay, here's your boarding pass. Your flight leaves from gate 14B and it'll begin boarding at 17.50 p.m. Your seat number is 18C. Thanks. Situation 3. Order food and drink. Excuse me, I'd like to order some food and drink. Welcome, sir. What would you like to have? Please look at the menu in front of you. Hmm. Thanks, I'll have this beef meal and a cup of coffee. Yes, of course, sir. Your meal and drink cost $25. Please wait a while for your food to be served. I'll give you your coffee first. Cool, here's $25. Thanks for the assistance. You're welcome, sir. Here's your coffee, sir. Your food will be served in a minute. Okay, thanks. Excuse me, sir. Here's your meal. Thanks for your patience. If you need anything, just tell me. Enjoy your meal. Thank you very much. That's all for now. Situation 4. Order a new magazine. <gasps> Excuse me. Hi, how may I help you, sir? Sorry, I accidentally spilled coffee on this magazine. Can you help me get another one? Sure. Let me get another one for you and some napkins to wipe the coffee off, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Here's your magazine and some napkins, sir. If you need anything else, please tell me. Thank you very much. That's all for now. Situation 5. Meet an old friend. Excuse me, I've been wondering for a while. Are you Mark from Michigan State University? <gasps> yes, it's me. Do I know you? Oh my gosh, Mark. It's Lisa. It's been 10 years since our graduation. Do you remember me? Oh, Lisa, it's you. I'm so sorry for not recognizing you. Ten years is such a long time. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm great, Lisa. Ten years have passed and you're still so young and beautiful as ten years ago. <laughs> I remember lots of boys had a crush on you. So, how are you now? Haha, ha, it's all from ten years ago. Now I'm a mother of two kids. Congratulations, I also have a two-year-old little girl. Really, I also have a two-year-old daughter. Her brother's five years old. This is their photo. Wow, such beautiful kids. Your son takes after you. This is my daughter's photo. 
what a pretty little girl. She looks exactly like you. Thanks. Time passes so quickly. We're both parents. Are you still in Michigan now, or did you move somewhere else? Yeah, I'm still in Michigan. How about you? I just got back to Michigan a year ago. Before that, I spent a long time living and working in Europe. Well, when we go back to Michigan, let's have a gathering and take the kids to meet up. If it's convenient, invite some other friends from university. How about that? Do you still keep in touch with our college friends? Since I went to Europe, I've not kept in touch with them. Yeah, sometimes we still gather for a barbecue. There's Bob, Amelia, Jenna, Kyle, and I kept in touch often. We used to ask each other and wonder why you disappeared. Turns out you went to Europe. Where did you go in Europe? At that time, there was a job opportunity in the UK, so I left immediately. I was in a hurry, so I didn't tell anyone. Who would have thought it was eight years straight? I also met my wife there. <gasps> oh, really? So did she agree to go back to America with you? Yes, after discussing for a while, we decided to return to the U.S. after our child turned one years old. We also hesitated because she doesn't have any friends here. Yeah, so how is everything after coming here? Everything's fine. She has a new job and has more friends. We live close to my parents' house, so we often let the kids come along and play with them. That's so good. How are your parents? Thanks for asking. My parents are good. Oh, I'm really looking forward to our gathering. I'm sure it'll be fun. Me too. It's hard to imagine how they'll look after ten years. Uh, by the way, could you give me your phone number to keep in touch? Okay, let me type my number. Okay, here it is. The phone's not working now. I just sent you a message. You'll receive it after landing. Please, add my number. Okay, but it will probably be next month that I'm available. This time I flew over to visit my friend and spent two weeks there. It's okay. I'm also on a business trip for kind of a long time. I'll contact you next month then. Let's have a discussion at that time. Okay. I'll text you when I'm back. Talk about holidays. Christmas. Dialogue 1. It's a few days till Christmas. Jenny and Linda are talking about shopping for Christmas presents. Hey, Linda. How are you feeling? The best I can be. Assuming you're at your best, too. Christmas is around the corner. You've got any plans yet? Nah, not yet. What about your Christmas shopping? Um, I went shopping last week, but I forgot to buy the gifts for my family. I was thinking about hanging out at the mall this weekend. Would you like to come? I could not agree with you more, my friend. I also want to buy a Christmas gift for my sister. Yeah, that's great. What are you thinking of? I'm not sure. My top choice is a handbag. That sounds interesting. But a designer bag? No, I can't afford a designer bag. Just a branded bag. Marks and Supers is having a sale off. What do you think about coming there? Sounds like a good idea. How do you know that? I went there last week. I bought a beautiful bag for my niece as her birthday present. 
Did you get a discount? Of course, thirty percent off. Ah! <gasps> wow, sounds nice. Can't wait to go there. What gift are you going to choose for your family? Well, I plan to buy my father a wine bottle cover with Christmas motifs. The fabric is decorated and printed with colorful Christmas-themed pictures. That would be a great gift. This small but powerful gift will make the wine bottles lovely, matching the decorations on Christmas Eve. Yeah, for my mother, I would like to buy a neck scarf with lovely and funny reindeer motifs and four vintage colors. Super duper! I bet your mom will love it. Dialogue two: Lucas, Jennifer, and Peter ask each other about their Christmas plans. Merry Christmas, Jennifer. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too! Sending you the best wishes for happiness in this season. Thanks, Jennifer. You too. How was your Christmas? Did you exchange presents with your friends at school? Oh yes, of course. We have chosen beautiful gifts for each other. Ah! <gasps> wow, that's great. Do you go to church on Christmas Day, or do something like that? I'm going to attend a candlelight service at the local church. Would you like to go out with me? Who else is going? Just Lucy, Andrew, and me. What about Jane? She won't be there, will she? Jane and a couple of her friends are responsible for holding the service. She is already at the church preparing for everything. I see. Is she going to sing too? Yeah, I heard that she'll give a solo performance. That's great. I like her voice. She's really talented. What about the carols? What songs will they sing? I don't know. Maybe all I want for Christmas is you, or Holly Jolly Christmas. That would be interesting. Do you enjoy singing Christmas songs? No, I like listening to Christmas songs, but not singing though. <laughs> yeah, right. Me too. Oh, Lucas. Look, is it Peter? Yeah, you are right. It's him. Hi, Peter. Oh, hi, guys. Merry Christmas. Hey, Peter. What are your plans for the winter break? My brother and I were invited to Alan's house. You are going to have a Christmas party, right? Yes. We will have a small party with my family and my cousins. How about you? We will attend a candlelight service at the local church together. That sounds interesting. Dialogue three: Patrick, Jane, and Lucas are people from three different countries. Who became friends after a volunteer trip? They called each other before Christmas and shared about their country's Christmas. Hi guys, how are you? Good to see you. Long time no see, right? Watcha, what have you been up to? Well, I'm preparing for the Christmas holiday. Oh. How is Christmas celebrated in the United States? That's great. 
Do you have turkey for your Christmas dinner? Unfortunately, no. An indispensable item on the British Christmas table is the pudding with special things hidden in the filling. What does it contain inside? Sometimes it's a pea or a coin. Which is said to bring good luck to the person who receives it. Wow, sounds interesting. Is there a holiday similar to Christmas in your home country? We also have a Christmas holiday, but it's not similar there. In Italy, our Christmas dinner is usually a sumptuous meal, which has a dish of grilled eel. A traditional vegetable plate called cardoni, and a pastry with cream cheese. Wow, you have a big and delicious dinner for Christmas Eve. Well, in my country, going to the Christmas market is a tradition for us Germans. The market's most famous merchandise is the. Dresdner Christolin. Wow, that would be so yummy! I want to try it. That would be okay if you came to my country. Yeah, I will do it in the future. All right, I'll be waiting. So, in your country, what do people usually do on Christmas Day? Hmm. In Germany, adults usually put a table near the window, with many dishes. Children draw pictures on the window sill all night, so that Santa doesn't forget to fill their dishes <laughs> with candy and treats. <gasps> really? In England, children often write letters to Santa Claus. And throw them into the fireplace. Throw them into the fireplace. Why do they do that? Because they believed that these letters would fly through the chimney, and reach the North Pole, where Santa's abode. For the sake, that's amazing. How about in your country, Lucas? According to traditional Italian custom, it's not an old man but an old woman named Strega Bufana who will visit the children. Wow, that's so unique and special. Yeah, but sorry, guys. Last night I made my brother a promise to go skating this afternoon. So I'm afraid I have to go now. That's fine. Catch you later. Bye. See you soon. Talking about rumors. Hey, Victor. Have you finished our monthly financial report? Not yet, Amy. But I'm working my butt for it. Yes, you really should be. Boss will not like hearing the news of the unfinished work. <sighs> Ugh, poor my life. How have you been doing recently, Victor? You seem depressed and moody. I am so bored. It's like I am watching paint dry. Oh no, I actually really love watching paint dry. I should have been a painter instead. Oh, now you are saying, if I had chosen that career path, I could properly be famous now. Two thousand dollars, twenty-five hundred dollars. No one is paying higher. Going once, going twice, sold. So the twenty-five hundred dollars painting by famous artist Victor will belong to this lady.
Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Victor! Victor! You need to stop daydreaming. Our boss is coming in no time. Amy, you know what? I think I will quit this job and follow my truest desire. Victor! Hey, Phoebe, have you heard the news? What news? Everyone is talking about it. Victor, the accountant guy, has been promoted to be the chief accountant. Chief accountant? I heard he's promoted to be our manager. But he rejected the offer. Oh, that's such a surprise. Why did he refuse that golden opportunity? I heard that Victor's father is a millionaire. The father was also a very well-known painter, so he taught Victor drawing and painting. The family is really wealthy, but the father wanted Victor to experience living like a normal worker. People said that was the last wish before the death of Victor's father. Oh, gosh! I sensed something fishy about Victor. He always seemed to be asleep and quiet. Yes, because he just works to fulfill his father's last wishes. Oh, there goes Amy. She's really close with Victor. Let's ask her. Oh my gosh! I don't even know what you are talking about. Rumors flew, but they were untrue. Victor's father is not a millionaire. That is not what I heard of. And Victor wasn't promoted. My boss just thought he might be more suitable in the marketing department. Victor is very good at creating beautiful products. Mary, how do you do? Hey, Linda. You look amazing. I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm just doing so-so, but my bakery business is flourishing. <gasps> oh, that's such a piece of great news. Congratulations. Speaking of congrats, I heard that you and your husband are expecting a baby. When is the baby due, Mommy? Pardon me? A baby? Where did you get that news? Oh, remember Jake from our middle school? Uh-huh. What's with him? My family met Jake's family at the camping site last weekend. We had such a blast catching up. Did he gossip with you about the baby thing? Jake said he was told by Riley, and Riley heard the baby story from Max. Max said he was having an eating out with you two a few months ago. And he also added that it was a baby boy. Oh my goodness. Max, we were talking to Max about purchasing a new car. You know how much my husband is fascinated by cars. He is always calling cars babies or kids. Oh, now I understand why Max misunderstood. My husband and I are still loving the child-free marriage life. We haven't thought about having a baby yet. I totally get it. By the way, do you want to swing by my bakery? 
Our best sellers are extra rich and creamy cheesecake. Thanks, but I'm good. I think I need to be on a diet from today. My belly is getting a bit too big, so maybe that was why. You know, rumors are all he said. She said, sometimes rumors will likely come to reality, but most of the time, they are often misleading. Those pieces of news easily spread from one to another. But you shouldn't fully believe in rumors. Oh, I gotta go see a movie with my friends now. There was a rumor that a celebrity would be there today. See you later. Christmas. <laughs>「Hello everyone! I can smell Christmas in the air now. How have you prepared for this beautiful time of the year? I hope you will be soaked up in the holiday atmosphere. But first off, let's enjoy a little Christmas story with us. – Mommy! Mommy! – What is it, kids? You look so happy. Today, Auntie Rosie took us to Daddy's workplace, the Elmore Mall. Yes, Toby, everyone knows that Daddy works at Elmore Mall. Wow, Auntie Rosie brought you there. Did you have a blast? Yes, Mommy, but we didn't see Daddy anywhere, Mommy. <gasps> you didn't? Daddy said he still worked at Elmore Mall today. Honey, Toby, Jenny, I am going to work now. <gasps> oh, honey, do you really have to work today? Tonight it's Christmas Eve, you know. Yes, honey, the mall needs me. It will be very crowded during the holiday. And I am a... Security guard, I know. But remember to come home early, okay? Yes, honey. Goodbye, Daddy. Have fun at work. Goodbye, kids. Let's help Mommy prepare for Christmas, okay? Yes! yes! It is so weird that you didn't meet Daddy. Yes, Mommy. But we got to take a picture with Mr. Santa Claus. Aw, that was awesome, sweeties. What did he say to you? Jenny and Toby, ho ho ho. What do you want for Christmas? OMG, Mr. Santa knows our names. <gasps> Oops, hmm. I mean, yo, yes, I know every kid in the world, you know. Have you been nice this year? I'm a well-behaved kid, Mr. Santa. I should be on your nice list. Oh, you should? How about you, Toby? Mr. Claus, sometimes I woke up late and Daddy was very angry with me. I wish that I will not be naughty anymore so Daddy can be happy. Aw, oh, Toby, I'm sure that your daddy will be very proud of you. So what do you want for Christmas, Jenny and Toby? I want daddy coming home early and a Barbie doll. Me too. I want our family to have a Christmas dinner together and a car toy. Can you get that for me, Santa? Yes, sure, kiddos. Hmm. I think I have met Mr. Santa somewhere. You have, Mommy? Yes, and I think that was very nice of you, sweeties. Mr. Santa must be the best person in the world. Yes, Mommy. People love Mr. Santa. 
I saw a lot of beautiful ladies and gentlemen taking pictures next to him. Oh, really? He must be dead to me. Who, Mommy? No one, sweeties. Okay, kids. Let's give Mommy a hand making the Christmas table. Yes, yes Mommy! Mommy. Honey, Toby, Jenny, I'm home. Daddy! What are you doing? I'm doing my stuff. Honey, are you mad at me? I'm home early, like you said. But you were taking pictures with those beautiful girls. Oh, I see. They are nothing compared to you, honey. You are Mr. Santa Claus's wife. And I love being with you not just on Christmas Eve, but all year round. Aww, happy holiday, Mr. Santa. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Claus. Mommy, Daddy, we are hungry. Can we eat now? <laughs> That is the end of the Christmas story. I hope this little funny story will fill your heart with joy. Wishing you a Christmas that's merry and bright. Until next time. How are you? Good morning, Peter. Hello, Ricky. How are you? I'm feeling great, thank you. What about you? I'm doing okay, too. Last weekend, I had to take work home. Last week's workload was crazy. <gasps> oh, really? I heard that your department is working on a new project, though. Yeah, that one. We had to prepare a presentation to introduce our new product. A kitchen multi-purpose cooker to the company's investors, and we had to finish it within last week. At least everything's done now. Glad to hear that. Well, do you want to go drinking today after work? It's on me. It's been a while since we went drinking, right? Oh yeah, I would love to let out some steam. At the usual place, right? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I got to go now. See you this afternoon. See you. Hello, Mr. Park. Oh, hello, Sam. What are you doing? Been a while since I last saw you at home. I am just taking care of the roses in my garden. I just came back from my one-week business trip. That's why you did not see me home. How are you recently? I'm fine, thanks for asking. How's your son doing? He just started college, right? Yes, and I miss him already. Children are growing so fast. What about Lily, your daughter? How is she doing at school? Oh, she is preparing her applications for universities. She wants to go somewhere out of town, just like your son. The kids now just want to be away from their parents, huh? Yeah, I guess it's good for them to grow up, too. <laughs> well, I have to go now. See you around. Goodbye. If you have time, let's have a barbecue party this weekend. Sure, I will tell my husband about that. Hello, Jane. Long time no see. How are you? I miss you so much. Hi, Lisa. I miss you too. It's so lucky that we can meet each other today.
everything's been great recently. I just got a new job. Really? Congratulations! Where is it? It is a tech startup in Silicon Valley. I will start it next week. I'm super excited about this new job. I've always wanted to work in Silicon Valley. Yeah, you've told me that. I am glad that you can do your dream job. How are you? Not so great, actually. I'm under so much stress now. I'm writing my graduating thesis for my master's degree. Oh no, studying masters must be very hard. Which step are you on now? Oh, it's almost done. I'm working on the literature review. Writing a thesis consumes much more time than I imagined. I had almost no time left for myself. Oh, I know. I think you can try meditation to reduce your stress. It only takes about five to ten minutes every day. Oh, I know about that. Have you tried meditating before? No, but a friend of mine is doing it. She told me that her life is improving a lot thanks to it. Interesting. I think I will read more about it. Thank you for the advice. <laughs> it's nothing. Please pay more attention to your health. I will. Thank you for worrying about me. Hello, Grandma. Hello, my lovely granddaughter. How are you? How is school? Couldn't be a better, Grandma. School is also great. I just won the first prize in the school's tennis competition. Oh, that's great, Anna. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Grandma. What about you? How are you doing recently? My health's getting better now, thanks to the tea your dad sent. I can sleep better at night. I'm glad to hear that. Do you want more of that tea? I will tell dad to send you more. That would be lovely, but I still have enough for the next few months. I will tell you when I run out of it. What about your knees? Are they still hurting? Not as much as before. I'm seeing a doctor now, and I am taking medicines. I think they will be all right soon. I'm glad to hear that you are doing better now. Yes, I'm glad that you are doing well, too. Thank you for always caring about me. So now, what do you want to eat? Do you want some freshly baked brownies? Oh, yes! I am craving chocolate right now. You are the best, Grandma! I'm feeling under the weather. So, is that for your patient? Yes, honey. James is under the weather. He is feeling slightly unwell. How was he during this morning, honey? He seemed fine yesterday, didn't he? Oh, yes. James was doing all good. He was still playing around with the neighbor's kids. But there was something getting to him this morning. Sweetie, wake up! Rise and shine! Oh, Mommy! I'm under the weather right now. I think I'm catching a cold. Are you, James? Yes, Mommy! Hmm... Let me check your temperature. Oops! 
see. You are certainly hot. Mommy! <coughs> now you are sneezing too. It seems like you are really getting a cold. Yes, can I stay at home today, Mommy? Sure, James. You should lie down and I will cook you some chicken soup. It'll help you get better from your sickness. Oh, I'm going to have a check on him. By the way, your soup smells delicious, honey. Thanks, honey. Evil genius, you can't get away with your crime anymore. I'm Superman, and I am here to save the world. <gasps> Son, what are you doing? <gasps> Daddy, please don't tell on me. Mommy will force me to go to school if she finds out. If you tell me the truth, I promise that we won't force you to go to school today. What's the matter, James? It's about my music class. My classmates often tease me about my singing. I don't think music is my thing anymore. La, 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 la. I get it. If you don't like learning music, you can choose a different class, James. Your mom and I will not yell at you. Aw, oh, Daddy! You are the best! Promise me this is the last time you lie to us. I will not do it anymore! That's good, James. By the way, can you please suggest Mom cook us some spaghetti, too? Dad's belly needs to be saved by spaghetti. Okay, Daddy. Good teamwork. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Shaley. Where is Nina? Didn't she go to work with you? Ugh, Nina is still under the weather. She's ill? Hmm. No, she's still a bit drunk after the party. We don't think she's sober enough to go to work, so Nina took an absence today. Oh, I see. It was so bad that you couldn't come to the party last night, Shaylee. Hmm? Why so? At the party last night. Boss ordered a lot of pizzas and drinks for us. People were eating, chit-chatting, dancing, and eating again. We had a lot of fun. But it was probably because of the pizza. Some people had troubles after eating, too. They vomited. It was such a stinky mess. When checking if Nina was doing okay, she looked totally under the weather. I mean, she was wasted when I saw her. Nina, you are such a party animal. But I think you should stop drinking, my friend. Who are you? Are you Bob? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you, Bob. Oh, this is my favorite song. It is? 
Let's dance. Okay, so you guys kept dancing and drinking more? Not for long, Shaylee. Nina threw up on me when we were in the middle of the dancing. <laughs> Ew, yucky, Nina. Oh, come on. This is my favorite t-shirt. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to. If you hadn't drunk too much, you would not be under the weather now. Yeah, I regret it so much now. Marriage Watch the following video to see how the characters talk about married life and their views on marriage. Marriage Conflicts Why are you looking so tired these days, Jack? Yeah, my wife and I are having a difficult time these days. We are fighting all the time. She seems to change so much after having a baby. Really? What's wrong? Uh, it's all these little things that keep adding up, so I'm very tired. For example, I came home from work being so tired and the house was a mess. Sometimes I threw my clothes away on the floor, thinking it's messy anyway. I would clean up everything later, but she was extremely angry with me about that. Okay, is there anything else? Another? Okay, milk bottle story, for example. There was some milk left over. She asked me to empty the bottle and wash it. But I was so busy that day that I forgot. When she found out, she grumbled all night. If you are tired all day at work, then come home and have to listen to your wife be cranky. Are you happy? Okay, got it. I think you should have more sympathy with your wife. She just gave birth. Many women also experience postpartum depression, so it's normal to get angry easily. Besides, you're the one who made mistakes anyway. Your reason for everything is that you come home from work being tired. But it may be even more tiring for her to take care of the baby alone all day. At least, you shouldn't add more work for her, right? Back to the milk bottle. You don't know how carefully mothers take care of their babies. Just thinking about the bacteria multiplying in the baby's bottle is driving them crazy. Besides, maybe she needed a bottle for her baby right away, but she didn't have one. Washing and cleaning the bottle also takes time. Baby can't wait, you know? Yeah, it seems like I was too careless. Actually, I'm not mad at her at all. I'm just a little tired of hearing complaints all day long. Then you should think about how tired she is from the lack of sleep to take care of the baby. I think if you apologize to her and explain that you are also a first-time father. You may make many mistakes, but we'll try to help her more. I think she will be happy again. I understand. Thank you. I will try to talk to her and help her more. Will you do me the honor of being your husband? Lily, time flies so fast. It's already our two-year anniversary. Right? So quick. I'm glad I had you by my side all this time. So am I. Today, I order this crab soup. I know you like it a lot. Try it. So delicious. I love it. Thank you. I still remember on our first date, you took me here and let me try it. John, I saw something on the plate. Let me finish the soup. Oh my god! John! Lily, these two years with you have been the happiest time of my life. We have gone through many ups and downs together, many challenges, and grown up together every single day. 
I now know that you and I are truly meant to be together. You are the one I've been waiting for my whole life. I believe it is the time we should move one step forward. Lily, let's get married. Let's spend the rest of our lives together. Will you do me the honor of being your husband? Yes, John. Of course, yes. She said yes. Oh my god, John, I was so surprised. What if I didn't finish the soup? I knew you would finish it very quickly. I know you too well, Lily. Happy marriage. Hi, Kelly. How are you? It has been a few months since the last time we met. I'm fine, thanks, Caddy. How are you and your family? Never better, thank you for asking. I really admire you and Eric. You are such a perfect couple, though. How long have you been married now? Almost ten years. That's a long time. No regrets? No. There are ups and downs, of course, but I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm so glad to hear that. What is the key to a happy marriage, in your opinion? Yeah, it works well, of course. Part of being a good couple is knowing when to give each other some space. That's true. I see a lot of people who move in together, and they give up all the things which make them individuals. We spend a lot of time together, but we have our own friends, our own hobbies, and so on. Sure, you mean you don't want to be too dependent on each other. Absolutely. Although, you need to strike a balance. You need to make time for each other, too. Of course. I imagine that it can be easy to let things slip when you've been together so long. Yeah, it's dangerous, actually. You can't take things for granted. Otherwise, your relationship will suffer. One more thing is, we have a cute daughter. I think having a child really strengthens the connection between two people. Of course! But you know, sometimes conflict happens the most when you're parenting. That's right. Therefore, I think the most important thing to maintain a happy marriage is sharing, respect, and understanding. Thanks a lot for your sharing, Caddy. I definitely learned something today. Traffic violations. When you go somewhere, you're always in traffic before going to your destination. This video is situations where the characters violate traffic laws. What will happen to them? Let's see together. Remember to wear your seatbelt. I am in maternity hospital. Listen, I see your husband and a pregnant woman. They entered the hospital and also look very intimate. I will send you the address. Come here quickly. What? My husband said he went to Michael's house. The black car with the license plate 1B2345, please pull over. <gasps> Hi, may I see your driver's license and registration, ID card, and proof of insurance? Yes, sir. Here you are. This isn't your car, is it? Yes, it's my husband's car. John Robertson. Please check for me the information of Mr. John Robertson and his wife. Why do you look so sad? Because you violate a traffic law, right? Sorry, sir, but what do I violate? You don't wear this seatbelt. Oh, that's a shame, because I'm in a hurry. It is Mr. John's car, and his wife is L'Oreal West Robertson. Thank you. So here's your ticket. You and your husband can appeal to the court within 14 days if something goes wrong. Yes, sir. Whether you are in a hurry or have something sad, remember to wear your seatbelt. Your safety comes first. Thank you so much. You are good, police. <gasps> Who 
is she? Why are you here, honey? So, you are his wife? On the way to catch the bus, my stomach hurt a lot. I asked people around for help, but only Mr. John drove me to the hospital. <gasps> oh, it's good to hear that. No, I mean, how do you feel now? I feel fine, thank you so much. Goodbye, God bless you all. Oh, I have an email. My wife drove my car and got a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt. Oh, really? Which wife? Pay attention to the traffic signs. I'll try another road to go to the company. Oh, the traffic light is red. Um, I want to turn right. I think it will be fine. License plate 1B2345. Please pull over. Good morning, sir. Good morning. May I see your driver's license and registration, ID card, and proof of insurance? Sure, sir, but may I ask, did I violate any traffic laws? You don't know? Yes, I swear I don't know. Okay, let me tell you. At that intersection, there are traffic signs that prohibit turning right, and you turned right. <gasps> so sorry. I didn't recognize it. This is the first time I go in this way. You blew the red light, and here's your ticket. Yes, sir, I got my ticket. You can appeal to the court within 14 days if something goes wrong. And here, this is the image taken from the camera when you blew the red light. No doubt. Thank you very much, sir. I will pay more attention. It's been a long time since I met someone who got a ticket but thanked me, like you. Remember to drive carefully and pay attention to the traffic signs. Yes, sir. Have a nice day. I have a letter from the police station in my mailbox. I have a meeting at 10 a.m. Too early. I will eat something. Where are you now, Bill? It's already 9.30. I want to discuss it with <gasps> you before we start the meeting. My wall clock is broken. I will come to the company right away. <gasps> OMG, I have a letter from the police station in my box. Let's see what's in there. An administrative record, a ticket, Pictures of my motorbike, my number plates, the route was violated, the time of the violation. <sighs> oh, I see the address to pay this fine. How can I help you? I'm here to pay the fine for speeding a few days ago. May I see your ID card? Here you are. You have the minimum penalty for speeding, which is a 100 euro fine, and three penalty points added to your license. Okay, so sad to hear, but may I ask this question? Yes. If I'm busy and don't come to pay the fine directly in here, can I pay online? Of course. There are instructions for paying the fine online, right in the letter we sent you. That's so good. And we also sent you an online email of your violation. Let me check my email. Oh, I see. You shouldn't drive too fast. It's not safe for you anymore and everyone. I know. I didn't think I drove so fast either. Thanks for your information today. Wow! 
What's your address? Linda, have you heard about Michael's new house? It is a whole mansion. Wow, really? Where did you get that information? Leo told me about it. Apparently, they live right next door to each other now. <gasps> That's nice. Talking about Leo, he is throwing a party at his place this weekend. Are you coming? Yeah, he invited me yesterday. Can you give me his address again? I totally forgot to write it down. Let me see. Hmm. It's 45 XYZ Street, right next to a gas station, I think. Okay. While we're at it, maybe we can pay Michael's house a visit as well? Good idea. Let's ask him. Hey, Michael, can we hang out at your place after Leo's party this weekend? Uh, sure, but my family and I just moved in and we have not finished unpacking yet. If you guys are fine with the house being a bit messy, then it's fine. No worries. We just want to check out your place a bit. <laughs> okay, I'll tell my parents you guys are coming. Oh, should we bring something over as a housewarming gift? You can if you want, but it really isn't necessary. Your presence is enough. That's so nice of you. I'll still bake something for us to enjoy together, though. That's also great. I'm excited. Mom, can I go over to Michelle's place and hang out with her there today? Sure, honey. Have her parents agreed to that yet? She said so, Mom. All right, do you need me to drop you off, or are you going on your own? It would be great if you could give me a ride, Mom. I'm not too familiar with her neighborhood. That's no problem, honey. What is her address? Oh, it's 29 DEF Street. I think you would know it. It's on your way to work. Ah, yes. I have to go past that street every morning. Should I get ready to go now? Maybe in 15 minutes. I need to finish doing these dishes, then we can go. Oh, can you grab the car key in the living room for me? Um, where exactly in the living room, Mom? Look on top of the coffee table. I saw it there last time. Got it, Mom. I'll wait for you in the car. Okay. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hi, I am calling to report a potential burglary at my neighbor's house. They told me they were out of town for the week, but I heard something like windows breaking and saw movement in the house. All right, keep calm and please tell us the address of your neighbor's house. It's sixty four X Y Z Street. Can someone come over here right now? I'm not sure if the burglar is still there. We are sending a team right over. In the meantime, can you give us some additional information? Yeah, sure. Did you see anyone suspicious around the house earlier? Hmm. Actually, yes. Yes, I did. I saw a male in dark clothes with a black cap covering his face. About five foot ten, a bit slender. I didn't think much about him, though, because it was quite cold outside. I see. What about his vehicle? Did you see a new car or motorbike on your street? Uh, I don't think so. Everything seemed normal except for what I already reported. Okay, well, our team should be there any moment now. Please stay on the line and update us with any new information as soon as you have it. Alright, got it. <laughs> 